How's it going guys, Tactics HD here bringing episode 47 of my NHL 14 Hockey Lit Team Road Glory series. As you guys can see, this is a huge episode. This is actually the longest Road Glory episode ever I've ever done, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Also guys, letting you know, I've uploaded a ton of Road Glory episodes over the past few days. I think maybe, probably, probably like six episode in three days. So if you guys missed any of those, there's a playlist link in the description. You guys can go check them out and be all caught up. Anyway guys, as you can see right here, some cards being sold. Just from the pack opening, as well as you guys could see, we actually sold one of our two Gabriks. If you guys are keeping up with my videos, you'll know the other Gabrik I actually am giving away. So, the other one I'm not going to sell, so that's about a 175k uh, cut, I guess you could call it, but uh, it's not a big deal. I'm actually going to do that giveaway uh, vi winner video very soon. Also, guys, as you can see, I just sold a couple of Louis Ericsons. They're 4.5k each. Obviously, got the one in the pack, and then when I went to sell them, I seen the one was a lot cheaper than the rest. I think he was like... Two and a half, maybe three k. So I always like to buy that cheap one if he's a lot cheaper, and then uh, make some profit on him. And as you guys can see, right here in the first game, we go down one nothing early in the first there. Now later, guys, in the game, half through the second period, still in this game at one nothing. But unfortunately, gets a goal there was sharp, making it a two nothing game. Luckily, right here, Duchesne's able to pick a puck off, go in the net, and uh, just get a little bit of breakaway there, making it two one. Then right here, guys, Parise on the power play gets by the defender, makes no mistakes, goes bomber hand corner there, tying the game for two apiece. The game ended up going to a shootout, guys. And right here, got Duchesne. Just gonna deke that goalie out, made him bite really hard there on the uh, backhand, or sorry, the forehand deke, going to the backhand, and uh, so after that goal, we actually got the lead, and yeah, he had a chance to tie it up here with Johan Franz, and all I had to do was stop him with Howard here, a little Detroit-Detroit action, and as you guys can see, he just uh, went the butterfly there, closed down the five hole, and uh, solidified that win, so... We're still in Division 2, guys. As you can see, that's actually our first win in Division 2. All the way to, went to, we went all the way to a shootout to get it. And as you can see, we're now 1-4 in four Division 2. So, not looking that good for Division 2. Uh, we're definitely not going to get promoted to Division 1. But we would like to at least uh, not get relegated and just stay in Division 2. Here, guys, are going up against Hunter Slayer. Looking for back-to-back -back wins, as that would really help us out. Here, guys, got a break with David Perron. Going to the forehand, then, or sorry, going to the backhand, then back to the forehand there. Tucking the puck in. That was actually... Uh, the final score of the game it was a close game there. We got the one nothing win, and uh, obviously the back-to-back -back win is really good. So now two and four, which is a bit more of a respectable record here in Division Two. And here, guys, you can see I actually sold some more cards. Uh, most of these cards, I'm pretty sure all these cards are just from the pack opening. Still, just the cards I didn't sell in the initial uh, sale. As you guys can see, I have a whole bunch of uh, contracts that I decided to put up as I have a whole bunch of free contracts, so I don't really need them taking up space. If I can get about 350 or 400 pucks each for them, I might as well sell them. Here, guys, you can see I'm going in another game against Hitboy95, I believe his name was, or Highboy95. And we're looking for three new wins in a row, that'd be huge for us, but unfortunately, right there he gets a goal, sniping that one. Uh, halfway through the first there, making a 1 0. Right here, guys, beginning of the second, though, Duchesne, no mistakes, on his knee, slapping that one, tying it with one apiece. And then right here, guys, kind of a cheesy goal, it goes to his backhand, I don't know how uh, Howard didn't have that post covered, making it 2 1. Then right there, he gets a snipe from uh, the top of the circle, Howard should have had that one again, I think. Making it 3-1, then right here, guys, end of the third period, he gets put, just puts another one in, adding an insult to injury, making it 4-1, so we're now 2-5 and five on the season, still have a chance not to get relegated, but uh, promotion is definitely 100% out of the picture, so, I mean, guys, after that game, we're going back into another game, a lot of games here for the uh, first third of the episode, as it's a really long episode, you guys will see a bunch of stuff happens, anyways, 5 minutes in the first period here, guys, Boyle's got the puck, he's going to give it back to Duchesne, he just throws one on net, Boyle tips his own pass in, and uh, gets that goal there, making it 1-0. And then right here, guys, uh, he's actually going to tie it up with Lucic. Five minutes left in the first period at one apiece. And then right here, guys, we have Parise coming in on net, going from the backhand of the floor into the backhand, tucking that one in, making it a 2-1 game. And then right here, guys, Camilleri back to Parise, puts that one in, making it 3-1, half the second period there. It's looking good. Right here, guys, Duchesne's going to get by the defenders, get it all alone. Obviously, Duchesne's not making, making a mistake when that happens, making it a 4-1 game. Right here, guys, beginning at 30, actually gets it closer, making it 4-2. And then right here, guys, bad bite there by Cronwall. He's going to get in on the goalie, beating Howard there, making it a 4-3 game. Luckily, we were able to hold on to that win and, uh, you know, get the win, get the uh, crucial points. As you guys can see, we're now 3-5 and five with two games remaining. We need to win one of these next two games to not get relegated back into Division 3 and uh, stay in Division 2. So here, guys, we're going to go back another game going up against Phillies 0-2-6, or 0-2-6, however you want to say it. And obviously, guys, if we get this win, not going back down to Division 3 if we lose. Uh, one more shot or one more game to uh, try to save our season. So anyway, guys, we're down one nothing here. Luckily, right here, I think this is Cogliano getting by the defenders, going to the backhand, tying the game with one apiece. No scoring in the second. Actually, you can see right there, five minutes in the second or third period. Sorry, he gets the second goal, the, uh, second his second goal of the game, making it two one. And then right there, guys, he puts one in from the slot, making it three one. So unfortunately, we lost that game. So we got one game left here to try to uh, save this season, not get relegated down to Division three. Um, obviously, we gotta do whatever we can in this next game. So. 
We guys are going to go right back into this next game. Like I said, a bunch of games here in this first uh, third of the episode. We're going up against Wolf River QC, I believe his name was. And uh, five, as you guys can see, five minutes left in the first period here. He's just going to rifle one there. Going top corner with Bergeron, I believe. Making it a one nothing game. And right there, guys, splits my defenders just after that. Making it 2 nothing. So a couple back-to-back -back goals. End of the first, they really hurt. Luckily, Prize, I think he was trying to pull his goalie out to uh, like poke check me or something. He really messed it up. Luckily, got by on there with Prize, making it 2-1. But unfortunately, right there, I think it's another bad goal. That's way out of the slot. And uh, I think Howard should have had that one. Uh, luckily, though, Raymond's able to tie it up for us there, making a 3-2 game. Then right there, Boyle loses the puck to Datsuk to Crosby to Ovechkin. I mean, this guy's team was insane. But uh, still no excuse. We still need to be able to win this one. And unfortunately, right there, he adds another one. 10 minutes left in the third, making it a 5-2 game. That was the final score. So as you guys can see, we got relegated to Division 3. The first time we've ever been relegated. There's been, I think, one, maybe two seasons. I think one uh, where we didn't get promoted. The rest we got promoted or won the division title. So the first time we got relegated. So definitely going to have to uh, work on our game as, you know, that's not, that's not what we want to do. So I don't know if we have to uh, change up the team, change up my play style, but do something. Anyway, guys, as you can see right there, I received a... Milestone Brian Campbell, that was actually from Neil Tamalkin on Twitter. He said he was Queen Hyatt and wanted to help me out. So, he gave me that Milestone Brian Campbell as well. He gave me this uh, collection here. It's from the National League. Collection redeems for about 21k pucks. I told him I could just borrow it and I'd give him back to it once I got the pucks. But he insisted that I keep it. So, I did that. And you guys will see I sell the cards afterwards. And actually, guys, after that, I think like a few days later, I hadn't played any hut. He told me he wanted he wanted me to put up a couple more cards. I put them up not expecting much. And this is what he sent me, guys. It ain't Chara, Team Week Jack Johnson. Wayne Gretzky, Team Week Louis Erickson. Uh, he's also, guys, he's going to send me a few more cards you guys are going to see in just a couple seconds. And I think the value of the cards he sent me, guys, was like a million, 1.2 million or something like that. So an insane, insane amount of cards, guys. Uh, I, I really don't know what to say except for thank you to him. And like I said, he said he was quitting height. I usually don't accept these guys. Uh, I usually don't accept cards unless, you know, someone's quitting or they really, really insist. Like, it's pretty rare I accept cards from somebody. Or if, you know, if they're a friend, then I'll accept them for sure. But, I mean, guys, as you can see, he also gave me a Rask, Milestone Williams, a Henrik Sedin, and a Change Team Winnipeg. So, since I got the Char, guys, and the Rask, I figured I might as well go to the Boston Collection. And that's exactly what I did. Pretty good bonus there, guys. But, um, it's going to cost you a ton of pucks to do this collection. It'll probably cost you almost a million pucks. Probably around eight to 900k, depending on how much you get Char for. I think right now he's going for around 700k. After that, guys, I actually went up and picked a pick, went out and picked a uh, team of the week. Paul Stastny up 88 overall, only 12,200. Six stats on him. I liked my regular Stastny back in the day, so I figured I'd try him out. Also, guys, right there, I felt like spending some money. Picked up a McDavid for a thousand. I figured I could try him out and see what happens. So as you guys can see, right here is the trade pile. I sold a bunch of cards here. A lot of the players and uh, just uh, items from that collection. Obviously, that one rare bronze sells for 10k. I didn't realize that, so that was awesome to see. Anyway, guys, right here we're going to another game. And uh, I don't think I've added any of those players he gave me. I believe they're all still in the collection, as I didn't want to mess with my lineups yet. You guys will see. I do uh, do some change up to try them out. Or actually, no, I. That's wrong, guys. I actually did add Char. But anyway, guys, uh, that was a quick game there. You guys will see. We lost one nothing. Uh, I couldn't put a puck in, and after that first goal, he never put one more in. So the goalies got second and third starts of the game. And uh, after that, guys, you will see. I do uh, sell some more cards there from that collection. Only a few cards left to sell. So, I mean, that collection gave me the bonus as well as some cards. If you guys were actually opening a couple of our free packs, I decided not to spend any pucks on the uh, the Team of the Week that week and open some packs as the Team of the Week wasn't the greatest. And I figured with all these players coming in, I mean, I'm really, I'm just going to get disappointed when I uh, spend money on packs. So, you guys, is our first free pack. As you can see, not the greatest. Nothing really there. Too redeemable. We'll just send all to the collection, you know, add those contracts or whatever else. Where you guys, is our second free pack. Opening up the Stamkos pack. We got a Gustav Nyquist, who's a rare player. Unfortunately, we already have a Nyquist, so I'll uh, probably just have to discard that one. But we did get a Duration 15, which is amazing for a free pack pull. Obviously, we can add that to somebody, boost him up, and he'll be boosted for quite a long time. And as you guys can see, someone we're going to boost here is Connor McDavid. You guys, uh, I heard, I said how I was going to try him out a couple of minutes ago. And as you guys can see, right now, I'm an 86 overall playmaking center. 99 skating, shooting hands, 97 checking, not quite 99, and 99 defense. Um, I actually used, I think, probably two-thirds of the training cards. I put them on probably 10 of the 15 I had uh, from free packs. The duration 15 obviously was a free pack duration 15. I actually had two of them. And as you guys can see, he looks like he's just going to be a dirty player. And anyway, guys, right here, we're back to the trade pile. I sold that change team with a pick card for 1,500. And I sold the last player from that collection for 200. So, right here, you guys, we're going to another game. And actually, have McDavid now on the lineup. Uh, well, as well, 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 a few other guys, you guys will see what the lineup's looking like. Uh, it's a temporary lineup for sure. But what, what the lineup's looking like 
after this game. And then, guys, as you can see, he's going to score a goal there. Five minutes left in the first period, making it 1-0. And then right here, guys, five minutes in the second, he puts another one in there with Camilleri, making it a 2-0 game. So not too good of a game here for uh, uh, McTavid's debut. But luckily there, Wheeler's able to get us closer, making it 2-1. And right here, guys, uh, we have, I think, McDavid on the puck. And as you can see, he's able to, or sorry, that was Camilleri, tying up at two apiece. Uh, they both got the jersey tuck, I think. And anyway, guys, right there, though, unfortunately, Callahan puts one in, making it 3-2. So we're down again. Lucky right here, nice deal from Stastny. He puts it on net. Kessel's there for the rebound. Making a 3-3 game. And there you guys, Kessler again on the puck. Just going to go backhand, forehand. Top right-hand corner, cheese. Making it a 4-3 game. We got the win there. So, a big win there, giving us 1-1 one one on this season. Obviously, we definitely want to win the title this time around in Division 3. And just basically make sure we're in Division 2 on a hot streak and just rolling once we enter it. I mean, guys, like I was saying, I'm going to take a quick second here to show you what the team's looking like. Like I said, it's temporary, but I got Gretzky, McDavid, and uh, Milestone Williams on that first line. The rest of the lines are the same. Defense, obviously, I've got Jack Johnson and Chara. I got Campbell playing with Cronwall, and then I got Fudnuff and Shattenkirk. So, we're looking pretty good here, guys. And right here is a trade. Another look at the trade pile. All the Boston players from the collection around the trade pile. And uh, I, didn't, I didn't sell them at first. I wasn't sure if I wanted to play with any of them. And I decided I just sell them and try to uh, reach that 1 million puck mark. And as you guys can see, while uh, scrolling through these players to show you guys, I actually sold that Lucic for just under 20k. And then guys, right here we're going to another game of Division 3. Going up against the Ginger Beardo. Looking to uh, get a winning record here in Division 3. If we win this one, we'll be 2-1 and one now. So, and then guys, half through the first period here, you guys are going to see he breaks through the defense there. Just bad plays. Somehow squeaks that one through the goalie uh, with Kopitar, making it 1-0. And then right here, guys, Gretzky picks up the puck. Gives it to McDavid. Gives a little bit of a spin around there behind the net. Tucks it in, making it 1-1. Then right here, guys, Campbell. Nice fake shot. Feeds McDavid, who puts a top right clean corner from way out on a bad angle. And that was actually the overtime winning goal, guys. So, a nice win there. McDavid gained us the game winner. So, that was awesome to see. As you guys can see, McDavid, Howard, and Lettinen. Three stars of the game. Pretty good uh, defensive game from both goalies. Right here, guys, after that, you guys can see I sold Trees Bergeron for just under 40k. So, we're now a little over 900k, guys. Making that 1 million push. Obviously, uh, you know, some people are going to say I got those players. The 1 million pucks aren't going to count. Uh, so far, haven't sold any of those players for the 1 million pucks. It's been all the Boston player collections and uh, my own players. But anyway, guys, as you can see, this game actually was tied up. Went to a shootout. and Or sorry, not sorry, not a shootout. Uh, penalty shot there, making it 1-1. And then right here, guys, he got that goal, making it 2-1. Right here, guys, really nice move from Camilleri. Feeding Parise, making it a 2-2 game. Then right here, guys, off the faceoff. Kessler gets through those two guys. Making it a 3-2 game, 5 minutes in the third period. And then right here, guys, unfortunately, he's a camel area of his own. He's going to deke through a couple guys. Feed Molson, who gets on the backhand. Tying the game up with three apiece. And then right here, guys, I don't know what happened. Landis got checked the one guy off the puck, picked it up, sniped it on Howard in the slot, and we lost there 4-3. Uh, sorry for saying we went to the shootout. I, I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, guys, we lost that game, and that was kind of a tough one. That last goal shouldn't have happened. It shouldn't have let Landis Cog just go all, uh, go all over us like that. But anyway, guys, right now we're going into another game. And obviously, we need this win. We have to, you know, can't play like we did in Division 2 in Division 3. But as you guys can see, 5 minutes, Sam, we're going to go down again with that breakaway goal. It makes it a 1 0. And then right here, guys, he's going to take a shot from the point. And this one just goes right in the top corner on Lindback, making it 2 0. Right here, guys, Stassi, he's going to find Wheeler out front, making it a 2 1 game. Still in the first period here. Right here, guys, we have Prize finding Camillary. Puts the puck on net. Duchesne just picks up that rebound, snipes it home while getting hit. Time to give up to a piece. Right here, guys, Jack Johnson winds up, puts that one top right hand corner. Sick clapper there. So we got the 3-2 lead, guys. Five minutes left in the period. Crom was going to put another one in. Top left uh, snipe. Same kind of goal. Making it 4-2. Dying seconds here, guys. We're actually going to take the puck, wrap it around to Williams, and make it a 5-2 game. So make sure to hold on to that win there. Got a good amount of pucks, too. Almost 800 pucks. And we're now 3-2 on the season. So looking pretty good. A lot better than we did in Division 2. As you can see, Jack Johnson, McDavid, and Crom were our three stars of the game. And after that, guys, you can see I hold sold to Enrique Sedin there. 48k, so almost 50k pucks for him. And right here, guys, you can see I sold Tuka Rask for 35k, a Thornton, a jersey, a logo, and a Chris Kelly. So we're now at 996,000, just under the million puck mark. And as you guys can see, coming back another day later, we have a million pucks, actually 1,014,734 pucks. So we finally reached our 1 million mark. Obviously, uh, we did have a little bit of help there at the end, but if you think about it, I think I didn't sell any of the really expensive guys, and I still have that Gabrick who I'm giving away. So I think uh, with the players I was given and the, all the players I've given away, uh, since this game's come out, I think, you know, I did work for that million pucks. Maybe I worked for 950k or 900k, whatever it is, but I, I more or less, I worked for that million pucks. So, pretty uh, proud to accomplish that. Obviously, uh, our two goals were make a million pucks and uh, win Division 1 title. So, let's look at win that Division 2 title. And as you guys can see, I was talking there, but I added three new players for that fourth line. I got Team of the Week Hagelin, Team of the Week Hallam, and Team of the Week Raymond. 
Playmaker, 2A forward sniper. Uh, two of them, Helm and Raymond have 90 skating. Hagelin's got 89 skating. So that's going to be a sick fourth line for us. A little bit pricey, but I think it's going to pay off. And anyway, guys, as you can see, we're up 1 0 there. He tied it up 1 apiece. So in the first period here, though, guys, he's going to take a shot from Briaxa. Gets a tip on, making it a 2 1 game. Lucky, though, we're here. Right here, guys, Gretzky's going to feed Char. He snipes that one top right hand corner. So in the first period here, tied up 2 2. But now, five minutes in the second period. Nice moves there from Gretzky. Finds Camilleri. Puts it in the bottom right hand corner there, making it 3 2. Now in the third period, guys, five minutes left, he's going to find a, a goal of his own. Time to make about three apiece. So, right here, guys, we need this win. And I think this is Stassi on the puck. Finding Kessler puts that one home, making it 4-3. Really clutch goal there from Kessler. We always count on him. As you guys can see, McDavid with three assists with the first star. Char with the second star. And Ladd with the third star. So, a good game there, guys. And uh, this is the second last game of this episode. We're going to go in one more game here, guys, before we end out this extremely long episode. I don't know how I'm still talking. My voice is... Uh, my voice is definitely about to give away. But anyway, guys, this is a pretty short game. Uh, as you can see, no scoring in the first or second. Beginning of the third here, Cromwell just takes the puck all the way up the ice by himself. Tries to uh, take it in for the pass. Tips off the goalie. He gets in his own rebound with the backhand. And he actually won that one one nothing. So as you guys can see, we're sitting at a 5-2 and two record. Three games remaining. So we need one win for the Division uh, Division 2 promotion and two wins for the Division uh, 3 title. Right here, guys, we're actually combining a John Carlson Team of the Week. I plan on pairing off with Cromwell. Not exactly sure where I'll pair him up, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you see my NHL 14 uh, Road Glory videos. I'm actually going to have a special video up for you guys later today. Probably be up in a couple hours or so after you're watching this, so we'll look out for that. Besides that, guys, thanks for watching again. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Have a nice day, guys. Goodbye. It's the kind of beat the goal.